Hi there, this is Garib Levins from Point Loma Nazarene University. I was doing some assistance work training today and decided that I would record some of it and maybe uh, throw up some of these video logs for my workouts in case any of you out there are interested. Um, I've never really had a log where I introduced myself or said much about, so I'm 25 years old, um, graduated in 2010 with an undergraduate degree in philosophy and theology from Point Loma and continue to work there as a staff member in their public safety department. Um, I'm weighing about 220 today um, and I compete in the 220 weight class. I've competed in powerlifting twice. Uh, first time I went out I totaled 1559 and 16 weeks later I totaled 1646 uh, which is something almost uh, somewhere around a 90 pound increase in 16 weeks. Um, some of that was just raw strength increase. It wasn't that I fixed form on a lot of things. It's just got that much stronger, which has led into what I'm doing now with my new programming. I've put two days together that follow the cube programming, and I'm doing squat and bench on my day one, and following the cube progression for those, I had uh, max effort squats and rep uh, effort on bench this week, and then I take 72 hours off and come in and do my sumo deadlift. Uh, I don't like conventional too much with heavy weights. I have some hip flexor issues that I'm working on, but as of right now, I've been sticking with sumo and it's been working pretty well. And I had speed on sumo this week. But for my assistance day, um, which is what you see here, day three, I've got pause squats, uh, dead stop benches where you... Uh, you start with the bench or the bar about two inches, three inches off your chest and push off. Uh, on this rack, I started a 16. I put the mat there under my feet to get used to using those shorter benches that they have in the USAPL competitions. Uh, it's messed with my leg drive a little bit, but I've been getting more and more used to it. I've found that when I do uh, squats and benching movements on the same day, it's a lot easier for me to pinch my shoulder blades back because they're stretched from squatting. I wear wrist wraps. I hold the bar pretty low, uh, not extremely low, but low for me, and it just kills my wrists because my flexibility is so poor. Really, flexibility has been one of the, the biggest problems in my training. It's I mentioned I pulled a hip flexor. I was pulling conventional and uh, thought I slipped a disc. I couldn't move or bend over my entire back, just locked up. Uh, turned out it was my hip flexor on the right side, and it's because I was just too stiff. I couldn't get into a good pulling position. So you'll see also that I'm wearing Olympic shoes. These are uh, fairly aggressive heel uh, Olympic shoes. I think they're one and a one and a quarter inches high at the heel. So it's uh, it pushes my knees forward much more than I would like. But at the same time, with the uh, the butt wink the pelvic tilt issues I have in the bottom of the squat. I'd rather have my knees push forward than slip a disc. It's kind of funny as I've been looking at my assistance days, it seems always like my top set on squats, which was 405 today, uh, for I did three sets of five, I only recorded two, matches up with my bench, which I'm going to do here um, for three set, uh, or a set of three at 405. So I'm a little embarrassed that my bench is so close to my squats half the time, but I guess that's because I've been training upper body for powerlifting specifically for two years now, and I've only been doing lower body since last January. And so I'm happy with the progress I've made. I've over 600 on my squats. Um, I've had poor performance so far in the deadlift on uh, my competition days. Here I'm going to do some bent rows with uh, 275. If you're commenting, uh, just uh, you can hate if you want on my bent rows. I've, this is probably the fifth or sixth time I've ever done them. I just never had them in my training, and so they're they're fairly terrible form-wise. There's a lot of upper body movement to kind of cheat there. But what I've been working on is volume, and I've been upping the volume in my workouts so that I can stay injury-free. And I'll say some more about that as I go on. But that was this workout, and hopefully I.